So, how was the date? Well... Simone! Hello! Stop. Hi! Hi. Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm so sorry that I am late. Oh, that's no problem. Oh, my meeting just ran over and then I forgot stuff and, uh, well, I hope you haven't been waiting here very long. No, I just got here. Don't worry about it. Okay. How was your meeting? Oh, you know, it was staffy. Oh. <laughs> it was fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow, I'm sorry. I just, um, you don't look anything like your picture. Oh, um... No, 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 I mean, your picture was gorgeous. It's just that you are... You are so much more gorgeous than your picture. <laughs> oh. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> um, whoa. What did you say? Just, um, you're pretty fairy, too, <laughs> so... <clears throat> Uh, this is a really lovely restaurant. Oh, thank you oh, for suggesting it. Good, I'm so glad that you like it. Oh. I kind of thought it would be perfect for our um, first in-person date. I know it's not very loud and uh, multiple exits in case you have to bolt. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you for your thoroughness on the matter. <laughs> well, you know how it works. I mean, I, I messaged you first, so it's incumbent upon me to prove that I'm not a freak show. <laughs> ah, I'm still getting all the etiquette down. Oh, wait, it, is this um, your first uh, online date? <laughs> oh, no! Wow, I hope it doesn't totally suck. Oh, no. I mean, this has already far exceeded my expectations. Good one. I know! Gold, right? But then... You know, um, my friend Audrey's first online date was her last. She got gay married and everything. <laughs> Not that I mean that you and I are gonna walk down the aisle or anything. I just mean, you know, sometimes things can work out with people like us. I mean, like people who are like us. Not, I mean, not... I get it, I get it. I'm sorry, I clearly need a drink, so... <laughs> you, you kind of remind me of my students, actually. High school, right? A uh, grade four. But they're all pretty heavy drinkers, so... Oh. <laughs> Aw, that's sweet. Yeah. It's like I'm a ten-year-old. Hot. And then, uh, I landed this really sweet teaching gig at Trinity Elementary. And the rest, as they say, is history. <laughs> I mean, not so glamorous as being a big-time TV star, mind you. <laughs> it is not all glamour, let me tell you. Today, I shot all day in a dumpster. Sexy. <laughs> <laughs> well, what were you looking for? Um... You know what? I actually don't know. <laughs> but I know I didn't find it because my line was... Nothing, boss. Uh huh? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, did you do a lot of TV in Vancouver? Um, some, but I think it's safe to say that this dumpster gig does qualify as my big break, so... Vancouver's loss, Toronto's gain. Hmm? Thank you. You're welcome. Hmm. I really love Vancouver. I, I almost moved there once, actually. Oh, why, why didn't you? I broke up with the girl I was gonna move there for, so it kind of seemed like a bad idea after that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Vancouver yeah. is not the place to try to avoid an ex, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it isn't. Oh, but it's beautiful though, hey? Mountain, I know. But I mean, for an entire year after I broke up with my ex, Rebecca, I would run into her everywhere. Like, I could not get away. Anywhere I went, there she was. It was crazy. Oh, you didn't uh, stay friends, I take it. <laughs> Do friends take out restraining orders on you? <laughs> What? I mean, seriously, it, it, it didn't actually happen. It, not that bad. She, she was cheating on me with this lawyer who got all up in my face and was all a bit crazy, and they, they didn't go through with it. And, you know, it's actually a long story, and who doesn't have a crazy ex story, right? <laughs> wow, I mean, I don't. I'm actually friends with most of my exes, and even the latest one, actually. Oh, wow. Well, that is very civilized of you. Okay. Then what else did you talk about? Um, my best friend never liked Rebecca, which should have been my first clue, but she was just so magnetic, and I just, oh, I couldn't pull away. <laughs> you know what I mean? She was a teacher, too. Oh. Oh, mm -hmm. what great. Mm, yoga. So. Oh. Huh. Being with her was like being back in theater school where they would 
build you up and tear you down and build you up and then tear you back down and then compliment you on your big breakthrough, you know? But at least with Rebecca, she didn't cost me 35 grand in student loans. Mm. Although she did total my car. So She totaled your car? Yeah. And then when I went to bail her out of jail, I caught her making out with her cellmate. Oh my god, I forgot she even did that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, it is okay. I am, um, I've got my fair well, share. Well, it's just, I am making it sound like it was a complete and utter nightmare. I, I'm not a masochist. <sighs> you know, we just really had some good times together. Oh, you know, she was just like... She was like this incredible high, you know? Followed by this horrible low. And when you're in it, you're like, never again, never again. And then three days later, where are you? Right back where you started. Oh. Itch, I could not stop scratching. It's like, it's like she gave me emotional crabs. Please stop. I couldn't. Just so I could break free, clean slate, mm -hmm. get away from that soul-sucking vampire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. <sighs> well, you know what? It sounds like it's a really good thing you got out of there. At least tell me you picked up the tab. No, 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 no. Let me get it, please. Oh, no, oh, my tree. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Totally. Okay. okay. No. No words. Mortified. Where's my wallet? You know what? It's okay. I totally got this. No! Let no! This... It's okay. Oh my god, this has never happened before. Rebecca used to pull this shit all the time. It used to drive me crazy. God! Oh my god. Am I Rebecca? Am I becoming Rebecca? <sighs> okay. Uh, well, Simone. It was so amazing to meet you. Yeah. Uh, I hope, um, I hope Toronto is good to you. Oh, yeah, welcome. Um, okay. Yeah. Huh. Son of a bitch. Oh, Simone. I emailed her after I had sobered up to apologize. I hope you begged her for another chance. Well, yeah, I explained that it was the booze and the nerves and they just got the better of me. And that you obviously need some therapy. Well, I think she figured that one out on her own. At least you're no longer an online dating virgin. That's true. I survived and lived to cringe forever over the tale. Good for you. Even if you blew it horribly. Horribly. I'm proud of you anyway. Thank you. Oh my god, Audrey. She emailed me back. What'd she say? <laughs>